Uh, good afternoon, it's Roger Gilbert here. I'm in Kushang in Taiwan. It's the first day of the seafood show and aquaculture show here in the city. And I'm fortunate enough to be on the Shenlong stand. And Shenlong is a former Taiwanese company that's moved just recently to, uh, to its head office in uh, Vietnam. It specializes particularly in aquafeeds, and I'm talking here today to uh, Maple on my left, who is the VP of Shenlong, and also to Jeff, who is the general manager. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. I'd li just like to ask you a little bit about the company and its success over the recent years, uh, particularly with the view of an anniversary you're just celebrating. Uh, Maple? Yeah. Uh, actually, our uh, mother group, high group, just celebration yesterday uh, for the 20 years anniversary. So uh, with great uh, honor, we are able to achieve uh, 10 million tons of uh, fish sales within 20 years time. Yeah, so we are quite happy with that. That's a major achievement. But Shenlang itself is more outside of China and operating in Southeast Asia. Can you tell me a little bit about where you operate? We are major uh, base in Vietnam. So in the past five years, uh, we has been, uh, you know, for uh, local fish sales already reached around uh, 880, 180 tons, uh, thousand tons, yeah, for local market. So uh, beside from Vietnam, we are also exporting our co uh, product to India market and Malaysia. Uh, plus Philippines, Sri Lanka, uh, Myanmar, and Brunei, and so on. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, can I ask you please, uh, where are your production units? Are they mostly in Vietnam or do you have production units in countries like India, for instance? Uh, yes, our the India factory just uh, 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 operate in November, uh, beginning of November. Yes, we have the Sri Lanka, the Shim Fit production. Yes. And, uh, I understand you're also opening a third plant in Vietnam? Yes. Uh, now we have the two plants and uh, another one is the under construction. We will operate in the April next year. And for instance, how much of the Vietnamese market do you supply, do you think? Uh, for shrimp feed this year, this year 2018, we, uh, sub we sales the one 150,000 ton shrimp feet and the one also the same uh, the quantity so total is the uh, so the quant uh, same quantity the fish feet so total the uh, sales uh, quantity is the 300,000 ton aqua feet in Vietnam market. Uh, Maple, you, with the high-tech feeds that you're providing into the market do you see a shift in uh, farmers towards technology that they're taking uh, fish farming more seriously, that they have to uh, make more of a profit, uh, be more efficient, food safe, etc. Uh, actually, I think to provide the stable quality for farmers is very necessary because nowadays the disease problem, the weather condition become unstable. So we have to maintain the good quality. But more, uh, more than that, I think we, o uh, we also provide the good quality seeds and the uh, service to farmers. Right now in Shandong, we already setting up uh, more than 26 service center. So we can have farmers to monitor their water condition. And we also provide the guidelines for the, you know, uh, develop the suitable model for their, during the culture, yeah. And how do you see uh, fish feeds developing or the f aquaculture industry developing uh, in this region? Fish feed in this region. I think fish feed has uh, still has a great uh, potential because nowadays the the sea catch uh, fish quantity continuously declining. So I think we have to work in now and uh, provide the good uh, protein resources, uh, you no know, fish for consumers. Okay, well, Jeff and uh, Maple, uh, congratulations on your anniversary and all the best in the years ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.